I'll go into menu, set, network, right. Make sure that the network control is on. You might have to do a restart afterwards, but anyway. So when you restart, you should then get your IP address for uh, the Radio Bean uh, server, so to speak, because uh, that's what we're going to set it up as. Um, I've set mine uh, as a static in my IP router, so obviously every time it powers on it uses the same address. Um, that one's optional, shut down, that's to do with the, the control software. These must be as per they state. Um, network name, unique name. Um, internet access line, use either. I found because we're on a very fast network cable, that one's fine. And again, um, uh, network radio name is IC7610, uh, which you can call it whatever you like. The, the important bit is to set up a user. Now in there is your, I've used my call sign and set a password and set myself as administrator. Uh, this is this is all for just so I can show you setting it up anyway. So um, let's come out of that. Okay, we'll go back to the PC now. Now when you run the um, remote utility, uh, which is that icon there, um, the first thing that happens is it comes up with this page. Um, you should be able to leave it as default, or if you've set that differently in the radio, sorry, put the mouse back. If you set that differently, you obviously change it. Um, and then I'll just put register, say OK, close it down. We come back to this page now. Now, I'll get, I'll dump off with this. I we'll actually do it slightly differently. So I'll go there, and now I'll we'll click add, and the server address, which was. Uh, the one that we got off the radio. So it's, I'm trying to do this in one take, but isn't it not very easy to do? Right, the user ID and the password are the ones that you entered into the radio. Again, so I've entered those in. Next. Okay, that's actually worked now. Finish that. And there we go, we're showing connected. Okay. Now, click on radio list don't connect at this point click on it settings leave all the default settings as they are it seems to work okay the only thing you need to do is add a virtual com port now I seem to like 10 so I'm going to go with 10 um, click OK to that and then we can connect so we're now connected okay so now we can run the radio software which is okay so we come to this screen now what we're going to do here is click this icon come over here and choose your radio in this case 7610 it's a local area network and that was the username I used now my com port has come up as 10 which I asked it to be so it's found that information Everything else is okay. Now, if I'm going to actually set this to the speakers on the actual radio for now, um, obviously, if you've got the amp or anything, follow that through. Click OK. OK. Then connect. And we should now be connected. Let's have a quick look. So if I move the dial on the radio, it's moving as well. So yeah. Connecting from a client from a remote site requires that you forward the ports that you set up in your, in your server to the radio on your LAN using the LAN IP address of the radio or the radio's server. 